Oh boy, Charlottesville question again. Now, I'll answer this question, but again, it's incredibly frustrating to me because I've answered this question probably 40 times. And what this is, is an optic victory for the left. Anytime I'm talking about Charlottesville or January 6th, optic victory for the left. This is me purely playing defense. But my audience continually, continually is like, talk about January 6th, talk about Charlottesville. 30 days outside an election, what, what are we, I'm about to talk about Trump's assassination attempt. Let's talk about Charlottesville. Okay, let's talk about Charlottesville. Here we go. <sighs> so, for the millionth time, now I understand not everyone's followed me for all the same time, and so you haven't heard my answer to Charlottesville. Uh, I'm not going to dig up all the research I've done on this, but I'll give you the answer. When debating lefties about Trump saying there were fine people on both sides at Charlottesville, they'll argue that there were only Nazis at Charlottesville. Therefore, Trump meant the fine people, even though he condemned them in the speech, was Nazis. How do you counter this? First off, there wasn't only Nazis at Charlottesville. Uh, there were people that were there that the New York Times did an expo on. Particularly, there was this one woman that talked about how she was from an organization that showed up, and this organization was just free speech, and they didn't like the fact that there were Nazis there and felt terrible that they were being smeared as Nazis. The fact that even the New York Times did an interview with people like that proves that not everyone there was Nazis. Secondly, there were people on that side, such as the ACLU, other groups that were there that weren't necessarily such as there were militia groups, etc., that were there that weren't there because they agreed with the Nazis, but were there because they agreed with their right to free speech and wanted to stop the violence from occurring. So those sorts of groups existed. Third, I'm not going to listen to the Democrats say this because if that's their argument, then anytime we see Black Lives Matter that are marching with people that are saying pigs in a blanket for I'm like breaking or they're launching weapons or something like that at the police, that would mean that everyone in that crowd also has to be smeared. So when you hear Democrats say things like actually the majority of people in Black Lives Matter would peaceful and they're good people. No, if you're peaceful, you don't march with people that are hurling objects at police. You don't march with people that are saying pigs in a blanket fine like bacon. You don't do that sort of shit if you're with those groups. If the logic's going to be that anyone that would be at Charlottesville that was there because they were against the statues moving down couldn't be good people because there were Nazis there, then the same thing would be true anytime there's a leftist that marches with a group that has any member of Antifa or anything like that. Particularly those that are firebombing police cars, that are shouting pigs in a blanket fine like bacon, etc. Fourth, the real answer to this is Donald Trump oftentimes gets the specific wrongs, but it's directionally true on things. I would argue that Donald Trump had no clue whatsoever who was in that crowd. I think that Donald Trump saw this as an issue that was being weaponized against him, as is the case. That's what was going on. And so he was looking at it in a very vague sense. Donald Trump gave three speeches after Charlottesville. The first speech, he condemned hatred, and he gave the stereotypical, we must condemn hatred on both sides. It doesn't have a place in this country speech. Now, when Democrats give that speech, it's totally fine. But the media wasn't having it. They freaked out. They said, no, 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 no. You didn't call out the KKK. So the second speech Trump gives, he specifically condemns Nazis, neo-Nazi skinheads, KKK, groups like that, says they have no place, he condemns them. Media still wasn't having it. So then the third day he gives, or you know, a week later, he gives a speech on sort of his economic plan that he has. He then takes questions. Unlike Harris Biden, he actually takes impromptu questions from the press. They all start screaming, not about his economic plan, but why did it take you three or four days to condemn Nazis? Why did it take you? So in the mix of getting frustrated, he says something that was eminently true, which is the real problem was that there were shitheads on both sides. And what's happening is we see the violent left, and we'd seen this since 2014, violent left mobilizing to prevent right-wingers from hearing speeches or having peaceful protests or having peaceful gatherings, such as we saw in Berkeley when when violent left-wingers were beating the piss out of people that wanted to go see Ben Shapiro, Miley Yiannopoulos, I can't remember who it was. So we saw this over and over again. And what we saw was the media was running cover for this. They were saying, nope, this was good versus evil. The evil Trump supporters at Charlottesville versus the noble good people that stood up to fight him, which that wasn't the case. It was primarily shitheads fighting shitheads. That's why so many people on the left, like Antifa type people, showed up armed with shields, ball bats, and things like that. They wanted to engage in mutual combat. Not excusing the violent people that wanted to be on the other side. They suck too. Totally get it. But the problem was that the media is painting this one size picture and they're continually asking Trump like they did over and over and over and over and over again. Will you condemn Nazis? Will you condemn Nazis? Will you condemn Nazis? Will you condemn Nazis? And Trump could say, yeah, 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 yeah. And then the fifth time he'd be like, why do you keep asking me this? And they're like, oh, you didn't condemn Nazis that time. That's what happens? So Trump flying off the cuff says, listen, let me tell you, there were good people on both sides and there were bad people on both sides. And that's technically true. There were. But he couldn't say, like Janet Smith, she was a good person on that side. He doesn't know. He's just making this vague comment. And the bulk of the comment that he was making was like, stop making this that this was good versus evil. It wasn't that. 
And so the media picks up on that comment in real time and says, oh, so you're saying the people on the left were as bad as the people on the right? And he's like, I'm just saying that there were good people that don't want these statues taken down in bed. Clearly, I'm not talking about the Nazis, the white supremacists. If that's what he meant, then at best what you could say is, okay, Trump was unaware that they were all only Nazis, which is untrue. That's not the case. But he was unaware. But clearly then he's saying, I don't think Nazis are good people. So you could say Trump was factually wrong that there were people there that weren't Nazis. But that's different than him saying Nazis were good. Now... Maybe I need to do a video and clip this and pin it to the top. It's one of the most common questions that I get asked. I get asked this question over and over and over and over and over and over and over. I've probably gone through these speeches on this channel two dozen times. I've probably looked up the New York Times article and put it out there of the people that got interviewed that were there with Charlottesville that weren't Nazis a dozen times. I did a whole post on it in real time on the website above Top Secret. And yet still, and it's not anyone's fault, because not everyone's following me all the time. When someone comes in, I've, I've debated the people on the left about this. But it doesn't matter. They have the narrative. Now, do you understand why I talk about why shaping the narrative is so important? Even people that follow me and like me and agree with me, they're going to be like, but Rob, what do we say about Charlottesville? Still, 30 days outside an election, and they're talking about Charlottesville seven years ago? That's it? Because destiny just repeats verbatim. No good people at Charlottesville. Trump said there were Nazis. No good people at Charlottesville. Trump said there were Nazis. No good people at Charlottesville. Ch uh, no good people at Charlottesville. Trump said Nazis are good people. No good people at Charlottesville. Trump said Nazis are good people. And how do I, how do I, what, what do I say to that? You say, fuck you, destiny. There. That's what you said.